And welcome back, Trudy. And you've got the latest in foundations I to have. share with us. Which so, are also very delicious. Which is cool because they've been changing a lot lately. And I've noticed that these days foundations offer like SPF, antioxidants, a nice glow to the skin. Um, why then do so many women still not wear them? Look, it's fascinating and I often get that question thrown at me. I think there's two reasons. One is that they have been wearing the same foundation that they wore when they're 20, mm -hmm. which is not going to suit their skin in their 30s and 40s. They haven't ex actually specifically shopped for a foundation to suit their skin type. They're more on colour. And really, you know, they haven't actually thought about um, what their skin needs. You don't need to wear foundation all over your face. You can actually, you don't have to have a blanket coverage. So that's something that really puts people off. Yeah, so those old school ideas that you've yeah. taken through since you were young and yeah. they're not maybe not working for you right now. Yeah. Uh, so what should you look for in a daily foundation? Then? I think it should be an extension of your skincare and that's what you should shop for. So a mm -hmm. foundation that suits your skin, the skin tone. If you've got mature skin, you need radiance making pigments. If you've got an oily skin you need a mattifying um, formulation that's going to give you semi-matte coverage and long wearing. So shop for it like you would your skincare. Make sure it's got antioxidants and that valuable SPF that we all need. Yeah, that's always the needs the SPF, the doesn't it? Uh, what about shade shopping to make sure that you've got the right colour? How do you get that natural looking colour? Well, never put it on your hand because your hand is a different colour to your face. You yeah. go into store, get a consultation, it's worth it. Take the makeup off your face actually test it on the middle panel of your face and your jawline because those are the areas that are most discoloured and then walk out of the store into the sunlight and have a look because stores have fluorescent lighting so you're never yeah. going to get the nail the match in a store so make sure you travel outside of the store to try and get a natural looking light yeah. um, and go for a beige based shade most New Zealanders have a beige or a yellow base to their skin pink foundation doesn't look good on anyone so just avoid it go neutral or beige I okay think. good and if you're, t if you're t going outside to check it in the sun maybe just leave the actual product are you inside? <laughs> otherwise you're going to get busted Most for shoplifting. Most consultants are great, they'll give you a little hammer and send you outside to have a look, it's awesome. Uh, so how much should you look at spending on a foundation? Well obviously you need to buy what you can spend, what you can afford, but of, but I honestly believe that if it's an extension of your skincare, you're going to wear it and it's not going to sit in your drawer gathering dust, yeah. it's going to suit you, going to like the feel of it. Um, and go, I mean you can get a great foundation, I bought one in for $25, so go from, they range from 30 up to sort of 100, 100 20. So think about what you need and shop for your skin type. So what's your best foundation tip then? Um, I think don't wear it all over your face. Step back yeah. from the mirror, look at your skin without makeup on and only cover what you need to cover. Do, and most women put it on their skin, uh, put it on their fingers and start rubbing it in like face cream. Yep. That's not how you apply foundation. Oh, okay. What do you do? <laughs> Just a few dots on the middle of the face and blend outwards. You don't that. need foundation all over your face. Right. I it's knew different that. when you're on telly. You do. Oh, I've got so much foundation on here. You've got no idea. Anyway, so what are we so talking about here? So let's start talking about them. Like Max Factor. I bought a Max Factor in Rimmel London. Both of these brands have been around for a very long time. And I think we always get driven to new, new, right. new. But these have got some new extensions to the line. This is the Healthy Skin foundation they've got a bronze and a golden as well as right. six shades mix that with your moisturizer and apply it to your skin for summer it's amazing okay, SPF 20. Now I know you said not, don't try it on your hands but I'm not going to try it all over my hand no, because no, no, it'll, no, it'll be, okay. be just, too long. You're just sampling. Brand new from Clarins it launched today. Oh it's a dripper. This is their Skin Illusion and it's based on their famous um, face oil which has been around for decades. Yeah. Um, this is an SPF 20 it's full of antioxidants um, a ex plant, plant extract called Leaf of Life which gives an amazing antioxidant backup. You know, nice. we talked about that last week with your SPF. That feels really nice on and the skin too. And what I love too. about it, 22 shades. So for our darker skin tones, there's something for you there. You can actually find it. Find okay, what's this one? 22 shades. Um, Burt's Bees in Appreciation of Bee Awareness Month. I thought I'd bring that in. Gorgeous BB cream. So it's your moisturiser, your foundation, your concealer, all in one. 98% natural. Two shades, light, medium and medium. Blends beautifully. And that's a great colour for you. Just luminous and also makes you feel like you're not wearing any makeup. Excellent. And the new Rimmel London Breathable. Now this is for the woman who doesn't like to have heavy foundation, who yep. just wants something light and beautiful. It's full of antioxidants, vitamins oh, a, a, C and E. And on, it's got that an SPF 20 in it. And there's some really good light shades. You know I bought in a light one because some women are quite pale yeah. so they can't find a great finish. And eight shades in that one too. That's nice. Thank you so much. I thought my hands feel really good, actually. That one was really fat. Really they look good. good. They look luminous. Hey, thank you so much, Trudy. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. pleasure. Uh, for more beauty, you know how you can go to Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz.